Let's go. Bottom travel. Initiate. We did it! We're in! We're in the PTU solo, my friends! Welcome back to Aimless Ticket Time! Oh, 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 yes! My name is Kenley, and it's been forever. It was like I died, but don't worry about it. I didn't die. I'm still here, eh? Jane's hat, arena commander, shirt, boom! I got my, my, my star citizen pen, and you may be wondering... Why did I come back from the dead? This video is not about my return from the dead. This video is about PTU access in Star Citizen 2.0. Okay, Star Citizen PTU access 2.0. I've been a backer since uh, 2013. Um, I'm not one of the first backers. I think I'm Star Citizen, no like citizen number 200,000 or something. But I digress. Let me not ramble on about my history here. All I care about is getting into the uh, the PP, P, the PP. <laughs> All I care about is getting into the PTU. And I came across this amazing Reddit. <clears throat> okay, I came across this amazing Reddit, and it said Reddit post under Star Citizen. It said no PTU access. Play it solo. Well, my God. Let's follow these steps. Uh, and then we're gonna play the PTU. <laughs> so let's break down the steps easy peasy for all of you. Um, I am more of a visual learner. Now this wall of text is amazing, let me tell you, because it gives you all the steps you need to get into the PTU solo. Now you won't be playing with other players, but you can play with yourself! And that is just awesome sauce! Oh yes it is. Oh, I'm just so excited. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm yelling! I'm just so excited. Okay, so we're going to go through this step by step. Go check them out on Reddit. I'm going to leave links down below. Maxim Game posted this, uh, these steps in this guideline on how to gain PTU access. So basically, you can ignore these steps because there is an awesome, uh, let me see, paste bin right here. I'll drop the links down below. And all you have to do is you just have to copy all this stuff like this. Copy it. Oh my god. My mouse is acting all crazified. Okay, copy it. So 114 lines. And you're going to create an sc.txt on the desktop. Now, I've already created it, uh, but that's okay. Now, you're going to fill it up just like this. So, fill, fill up your uh, sc.txt file with all those files that you got from, uh, from the link down below. Bam! Now, you want to download the small tool this guy created. Okay, so there's a virus scan attached to it. You can take a look at it. Okay, so click that. Let's download this puppy. And then you download it. Okay, Star Citizen Downloader.exe. Drop that onto your desktop. Boom! Just like that. It's easy. So it all has to be on the desktop. This is the way the tool works, okay? So you stick your Star Citizen Downloader.exe on the desktop. And you get your sc.txt file, which is full of, uh, of the paste bin files. Okay, I'm going to save that. All the paste bin files are in here. And then you're going to click on it, and you're going to run it. Now, you can see it is downloading here. Okay, now I've already downloaded all this stuff, so I'm not going to do it again. But basically, you're going to allow that little program uh, to go until it basically closes. It'll just automatically close, and you'll be like, huh, I wonder what happened. Well, guess what? It will download all the files onto your desktop in a Star Citizen folder. Now, there's a couple of things to know. If the Star Citizen uh, downloader.exe crashes, it could be because uh, some of these files aren't correct, like you don't have them set up correctly, or... Uh, you don't have enough space on your hard drive. So make sure you have enough space on your C, on your desktop hard drive. Now what you got to do is uh, to log in properly, you need a valid token, okay? So you just got to open your Star Citizen launcher. So this means you have to be a backer of the game uh, before you can actually do anything. Uh, you got to open up the launcher and then log in, okay? Then you can close it. Go to your default Star Citizen install area. Okay, so let's do that. We're going to go to Cloud Imperium Games, Star Citizen, 
some people have made the mistake of going and grabbing this login data same name that's not the one you want the one that you want is this one right here grab it so you're gonna just say copy and then you're gonna go into your uh, your star citizen folder that is on your desktop you're gonna right click in that folder so star citizen you're gonna right click and you're gonna paste it boom so the next thing that you have to do is go to your star citizen folder on your desktop okay so this is your star citizen test folder it should be on your desktop you're going to go into data levels dogfight module data levels dogfight module okay in the dogfight module folder you will see dfm dying star rename that to dfm dying star old and then rename DFM Crusader to DFM Dying Star. This is important, okay? So you can see that's what I've done here. So this is how your folder should look, okay? From here, go to Star Citizen folder, go to Data. Oh, sorry, I lied. So go to into your Star Citizen folder, bin 64, click Star Citizen. We're gonna load it up here. Mm! Boom one last thing that we got to do okay so we're just going to allow this to load in okay easy don't do anything alt tab on your keyboard you want to come back to your desktop okay because you need to download a program you need to download a program called cheat engine now, I don't believe uh, the guy on Reddit left a link, but you can download Cheat Engine um, from the link in the description box below. Okay, so then download Cheat Engine from the link below. But when you're installing it, you need to make sure that uh, you don't install any of the hardware. So click next when you're installing it, accept the terms of service. That's where you want to install it. That's where you want to place it. Don't do that. Then it does this, install Wham Jam. Fuck that, we don't want that, so click next. Then it says express recommended, don't do that. Click custom install, unclick install search more, no, click next, you're good to go. It's just gonna install the cheat uh, engine software, okay? Once that's complete, load it up. Open up the cheat engine software file open process now remember star citizen needs to be running right now you can see it down here okay then you're going to click star citizen open so you can see up here it's selected star citizen process then you're going to click on the value type here as a string okay string and you're going to do this you're going to take uh, we're going to search for DFM underscore free flight. Okay. Paste that into text. Make sure it's on string. Click first scan. Boom. It's going to scan lots of things. Once it's on scanning, click one of these. Now control A while you're hovering over it. It's going to highlight them all. Click this little corner arrow. Boom. It's going to send it down there. Again, click on one. While you're hovering over this area, control A, it's going to highlight them all. Now hit enter. It's going to bring up this. You want to change the value. Now, what do we want to change the value to, you're asking me? You want to change it to SC underscore default. Just like that. SC underscore default. Click OK. It's going to change them all. now hit delete you'll get rid of them okay now we're gonna do one more search we're almost ready oh my god we're gonna search for arena commander now make sure you are searching uh using the exact lettering here big a big c arena commander search a string okay it's gonna search them all once it's done doing that click one control a click the little arrow click one control a hit enter and we're going to change this to persistent universe just like this you're going to hit okay now you're good to go you can close cheat engine now it's important for you to know every time 
that you restart Star Citizen, the PTU version of it, the solo PTU version of it, you're going to have to do this with Cheat Engine. Okay? So click on it. Then click Electronic Access. Then click Arena Commander. <laughs> We're getting here. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Then you're going to click Drone Sim. See these funky words here? Then you're going to move over to Dying Star. And you're going to launch. Now, if everything goes correctly, you're going to get into the PTU solo. Now, everything may not work. I don't know. I haven't played around in the PTU yet. I just learned how to do this. I know it works. So follow those directions. Maxim Game is an awesome sauce type of person. Go check out the link down below. Follow the step-by-step the -step directions. And you can do this too if you have Star Citizen. If you're a backer. If you're not a backer, use my, my referral code, please. You can get 5,000 credits in-game. And uh, you help me out as well because I can get free guns and stuff. So if you're, you can do it, you don't have to. I would love you if you did it. Because look at this! Oh, yeah! <gasps> okay, I'm going to be streaming this heavily. Heavily, I'm going to be streaming this. I got to I gotta get more beer, and then I'm going to come back. I'm going to be streaming this. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, yeah! Let's call a ship over. Good old ship. Hello, good ship. Bring up the Hornet. A01. Oops. I don't know how to play. 10. Let's go to A01, A01. Let's go take this ship. Let's see if we can warp on out of here. Oh my god, there's the ship. Oh! Online. Oh my god. Landing gear raised. Autopilot disengaged. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Look at those destinations. Let's restore Zim uplinks. Holy cray up. Let's go. Bottom travel initiated. We did it! We're in! We're in the PTU solo, my friends! Oh my god. Travel complete. Wow. So there you go. If you want PTU access right now and you didn't get an invite, you can play it solo. So go do it. If you need a Star Citizen package because you don't have one yet and you want to experience this amazing universe and what this game is going to do, you can use the link below. Cheers. And we'll see everybody next time right here on Aimless Digging Time.